Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really wanted to have a di discussion with you, a conversation, heart to heart, soul to soul. I just wanted to talk about love and I get this question a lot is how I stay so positive and motivated and happy and I was pondering this a lot. I have recently because I still struggle with depression and I still feel pain as a result of things that I don't even remember and I still get triggered all the time and I still have so much love in my heart for the simplest of things, for the big grandest of things, for everyone. I still feel very capable of loving everyone fully and completely and genuinely and wholeheartedly. I love to love people so much and that is what makes me so happy in this life. That is what keeps me going. That is what keeps me positive and motivated is the ability to make someone else's life better, to change someone else's life, to affect them in any way. And when I'm feeling really down, when I'm feeling suicidal or super depressed and wanting to give up, I think about what I would do if money was no object. I think about what I would do if the thing that was triggering me wasn't there. And I think about all the love that I could spread and the looks on people's faces when I made them happy or the deeds that I could do to make people's lives easier. I think about how much I love others and that is what keeps me going. That's what keeps me positive. That's what keeps me happy and motivated. It sounds random, maybe simple, maybe difficult. I don't know, but when I imagine my dream life, it is just being able to do good to others in every way. Love is like medicine because I definitely have been hurt by others, but that doesn't stop me at all from having my guard completely down, from wearing my heart on my sleeve. It does not stop me in the slightest. I give my full self to everyone, to this YouTube channel and to the people in my life, to people I just meet. I pour my heart out and I share my soul and if they don't accept it or pick it up or receive it or give anything back to me, I don't feel offended. Love to me isn't something that has any expectations. I don't love people in order just to get love back. I love people because in loving others, that's loving myself because we're all one and love does not decrease by being shared, at least not pure spiritual love. I mean, I guess romantic love is a whole other story, but when it comes to just pure, genuine love on a soul level, I just want to share it and spread it and I'm not seeking anything in return. I just want to put myself out there and see what happens, see what comes back, see what people can grasp of it. And I've had very dark hours, very dark moments recently, lately, all the time, my whole life, really. And I always rise and I see the distinction. I see myself choosing the sadness. I see myself indulging the sadness when I'm sad and telling myself lies that everyone hates me and that people don't actually watch my videos or enjoy my videos or that I'm ugly or that I'm fat or that I'm not worthy enough for this life. And I tell myself those things knowing that they're not true. And I say that in my head. I'm just like, you don't have to believe these lies that you're telling yourself. But when I'm sad, I, I just do it. And something that like, I always talk about is being conscious and so at the very least I know that I have this problem this bad habit that I do when I'm sad or triggered but at the very least at least I know I'm conscious of the fact that I'm doing it to myself and that I do have the option to choose love and I've been getting better at that little by little I've been able to be like okay you're really sad you're saying these things to yourself you don't have to do this Instead, think about how much you love everyone. And truly, I do this when I meditate. I used to do this guided meditation by Deepak Chopra. And there was a moment in the meditation where he would be like, think about all the people you love and who share love with you and how they make you feel. Imagine them and feel that feeling of pure love that you feel when you're with them. And that's what I do when I'm feeling super depressed. I think about the happiest times that I've spent with people, the best that I've ever felt. And it's always been when I'm in good company and I'm listening to good music or I'm writing poetry or I'm hugging someone and giving them a really big, nice hug. I'm a really big hugger and I love good hugs. So that's something that always comes into my mind. It's just like, I feel that pure love and when I think about that, all the negativity just goes away and it doesn't even matter what I look like. Even if I did binge eat, even if I did gain 5 or 10 pounds, I 
think about that pure love and I realize that nothing else really matters because that feeling is so good and that feeling enables me to do so much to want to give so much and give back and learn and experience life and not let anything get in the way of that amazing beautiful love that I've shared with people in my life and that I've shared with myself going along with like how I stay positive is that I accept my breakdowns like I allow them to happen I notice that they're happening to me they're not who I am but okay something triggered me maybe I know what it is maybe I, I don't but I try to act the best way that I can and just be completely candid with myself and with others about how I'm feeling like if I cancel on someone I'm like okay I struggle with depression that really sneaks up on me and I don't always know what's happening and um, I just don't wouldn't feel safe being around people tonight and I tell people that even if I just met them I will be completely honest because there's no point in lying and anyone who I'm with I want them to know my story I need them to know my sensitivities and I need them to know that um, they just need to be a little delicate towards me <laughs> and um, all of that just that true honesty and candidness allows so much love and understanding and acceptance and that is what has made me fill my life with love because just like a year or two ago I was really depressed and trying to kill myself every single day and I wasn't talking to anyone I wasn't being honest with anyone about how I was feeling nor was I being honest with myself and I was in a hole I was trapped because I knew that there was the possibility of getting help and that people around me wanted to help me but I couldn't even admit to myself that I needed help and I was embarrassed to do that and so now the first thing that I do, I just tell people my story. I tell people my spiritual journey and I tell people my struggles with depression and I tell people my silver linings, the beautiful parts of my journey, the lessons that I've learned. And immediately I feel safe and accepted because I share that with, with people and they just understand. I mean, I don't think I've shared my journey on that deep of a level to anyone who has just been like, oh, okay, and just not felt something, has not felt connected or has felt empathetic or has related to that. I've never met someone who I've told my story to and they just like don't get it and then they're just assholes to me, you know? Um, and sharing that allows for true, real connections. Just sharing your true feelings and your spirit just allows for really genuine love. If you are struggling with depression, I, there's no reason to be embarrassed about it or to want to hide it because it's not embarrassing. This life is hard and so many of us struggle with mental illness. So many of us. And it is an illness and it's not your fault and you and I can be the ones that break this stigma against it just by raising awareness and by talking about mental illness openly. We can all do that and I think that's why a lot of people are interested in my videos because I am so vulnerable and I share that so openly and it's very comforting but we can all be that person to each other and I want you to feel comfortable talking about it and I want you to not be ashamed of your scars because I think they're so beautiful. I think that, I mean, it's just a physical representation of the pain that you felt and didn't know how to deal with and the fact that there's scars and their healing means that things are changing. You are allowing more love into your life and um, if you are still struggling with harming yourself, I just want you to know that what you're dealing with, you can overcome and what you're dealing with, <laughs> you can talk through and one day it will it won't affect you the same way like I promise you that no matter what it is, no matter what trauma or struggle or heartbreak that it won't always be this way and the pain will end and there are options and there is help. You just have to believe that and feel that and see that there is and there are so many people who want to be your friend. When I was so suicidal in Santa Barbara, I thought that I had no one and looking back on it from a different perspective, from a more stable perspective, I remembered all the people who tried to talk to me and invited me to things and even my roommate who I didn't even connect with or talk to, she invited me with her friends all the time to go do things, but I was too depressed and too sad and self-conscious to go out into the world. And I realized that if I had said yes to all those people, even once or twice, who just wanted to like go to a Zumba class with me or who wanted to hang out on the beach with me, then I would have been so much happier because I would have had connection and friends in my life but because I was sad I completely shut myself off to all of those options and I feel like when we're depressed we just do that and we have to stop doing that. <laughs> um, we have to allow the love to be let in. 
I accept my breakdowns and I know that they're happening and I always 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 allow people to love me so staying positive and motivated to me at the end of the day all about love all about honesty and remembering the truth and the truth is that we are just these spirits going through this human experience and that there isn't really any difference between us except for the labels that society puts upon us. It just comforts me to know that there are 7 billion human beings on this planet and I have the ability to make a handful of them happy. That's what keeps me going, that's what keeps me happy. I wanted to share that with you. I know this is rambly like most of my videos, but um, falling into the void isn't a bad thing. There's a lot to find in sadness, there's a lot to learn in sadness. Just as long as you remember how much there is to learn with love as well. I just wanted to finish off by saying that I love you. And when I say I love you, I truly mean it. Because you have shared your stories with me and I have shared my story with you. And we are so similar in so many ways. And you just want to be here and love and be happy and to not feel pain. And I want the same thing for you and for myself and for everyone on this earth. And... So I love you. I love you just for being. I love you just because you exist. I'm just sending that love out to you and to everyone in the world. I've been sending a prayer of love to everyone and wow. <laughs> I just want to hug all of you. I feel sad right now in my heart. Like there is some sadness, there is some pain, but I also feel so much love and so much excitement for everything that is to come because this life is crazy and who knows and I'm just so happy that I get to connect with you. I really am. I really, really am. Thank you. If you finish this video, comment down below. Everything is going to be okay. And um, another little reminder that the past does not exist anymore. Even if it still hurts you and affects you right now, everything that you do is up to you. And no matter what has happened to you in the past or how people treat you now, it's up to you to decide how you're going to feel. Even in the sadness, even in the triggered or anxiety or panic attack state, you can still choose to see love and to think about love and to try and dig yourself out of that hole. Also, even with working out, even if you binge ate for the past two months and you gained weight, right now, instead of feeling guilty about that, you can make a difference. Today can be the day. Right now, the next meal can be the meal that you eat greens and the next hour can be the hour that you go on a walk or go on a bike ride or do something to move your body and i just want to say i love you so much and you mean so much to me and thank you thank you so much i will see you in my next video bye Girl, you make me